four hour 555 timer IC circuit. Uh, what you'll need are a 10 volt DC power supply, uh, of course the 555 timer IC, uh, which looks like this here, and then a 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Uh, the voltage just needs to be higher than your power supply and you want to give a little bit of extra wiggle room, but I'm using a 16 volt uh, 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. You're going to need uh, a couple of resistors. You need one, a 1 kilo ohm resistor and you're going to need a 470 ohm resistor and then you're going to need a 9 kilo ohm uh, variable resistor, in this case a rotary potentiometer so we can turn it and uh, of course your LED that we're going to make flash at different rates and the way the LED flashes at different rates is based on the time constant of the of the circuit which your time constant in this case is your you know comes from your capacitor and your resistors and uh, here your time constant equals the resistance times the capacitance and from that you can also derive your frequency of how f the frequency of the timer chip which is putting out a digital square wave like so and then based on that when the current's flowing through the capacitor and the resistors uh, your capacitor is going to charge and discharge like this and at one time constant the capacitor is 63 percent charged and the frequency of the flashing LED is thus decided by your uh, resistance in this case because the capacitance can't change uh, in this case so the resistance changes when you uh, turn the knob on the potentiometer and that will increase or decrease the frequency of the flashing of the LED and let's take a look and see so when you turn it on we're supplying 10 volts uh, DC and you can see the LED is flashing here now I can make it flash slower or I can make it by turning it one way if I turn it the other way it's going to increase the speed at which it blinks so this is how 555 timer IC circuits are used in certain electronics to uh, make LEDs flash at different rates in the 555 timer can be used for a whole bunch of different circuits for timing circuits but also just to produce a uh, serial clock or a square wave like so you know for digital logic and uh, this is just one of many examples how the 555 timer uh, can be of use.